Welcome back to Rome Total War. We are doing the Scipii campaign and we are doing a no post Marion unit recruitment challenge. In our last episode, we j went to war with uh, Numidia and Macedonia and we took on a couple of new provinces, Serta over here, as well as Larissa. And in today's episode, we will continue to expand and we'll see where we go. So we got this lone Macedonian general over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take a couple of equites and my general and uh, take him out. Victory! And this is their factionary. He's got 63 bodyguard. Let's go ahead and fight him. All right, let's go ahead and start this battle. Let's get uphill over here. Alright, we're gonna try to surround them. And then. Attack. There's their general right there. And that's that. We only lost 27. Good battle. I'm going to get my troops retrained. Well, I actually don't have enough money to do that. All right, with that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. All right, now they want us to blockade Palma. Giving us a priority office appointment, which we already have a couple of offices, so that's not a big deal, but I don't want to decline missions, so uh, we'll try and do it. Looks like we've got our mines in Segestica built, as well as the Forum in Carthage. That should help out with our economy. Unfortunately, it looks like this army did not fight the Brutii, which was I was really hoping they would. They pulled back into Thessalonica and they've got a lot of troops over here. Wow, look at that. They've got a uh, level 3 upgraded Peltist in this city. We've got a, a lot of unrest in uh, Larissa. I'm going to need to recruit some peasants. So I think I'm going to fight this army here with my with Marcellus over here. Alright, let's get a move out. We got a little bit of cavalry, some pikemen and uh, skirmishers. We should be able to handle them. Let's go ahead and fight this. Let's go ahead and start this battle. Looks like we've got the high grounds, which is really good. Let's get over here quickly. Everybody double time, take the high ground. Let's see, let's get my cavalry up here first. All right, I think they, I don't know what they're doing, if they're going to try to rush this high ground or not. They could have deployed here, but they decided not to for whatever reason. Yeah, they are, well, they're just lining up for now. So, since we have the high grounds, and we're still just warmed up, fresh, we're not tired yet. Let's move forward just a little bit. All right, they are in our missile range, and we are firing at them. All right, I'm going to send my skirmishes forward. See if we can force them to attack us uphill. We managed to do quite a bit of damage with just our archers alone, 20%. All right, looks like they are sending their at least one phalanx after us. Get our uh, cavalry forward. If they move their skirmishers, we should be able to take out these uh, pikemen before they get to us. Yep, they've uh, routed. They're sending another group of uh, pikemen up against us.
Well, our skirmishers are almost out of missiles. Our Illyrians are out of missiles. Let's send them back. Actually, let's keep them up front. Let's keep our skirmishers together. And we can charge these uh, pikemen from the side. Or from the from the rear. So, alright, let's charge. Let's get these equites behind them. We'll take out these pikemen. Charge. Yeah, we got them to route. Good. Let's get these guys back. Let our uh, cavalry finish him off. Get our skirmishers back. Looks like they're sending their peltist after us. All right, they're broken. We haven't lost a uh, equite yet. That's pretty good. Taking out two units without uh, losing one guy. And it looks like they're sending another pikeman up against us. I don't know why they're just sending one unit at a time, but I'll take it. Alright, they're routed. Let's get our Valtes back. Oh, we did lose some... Equites. I think that was mostly to friendly fire. Uh, looks like they're retreating. Let's get our infantry up. Charging out. Let's get our cavalry. Let's hit these, uh, Thracians. Alright, well, we managed to kill over 1,700 of them. Only lost 16. They did get away so that's probably not routed another command star for Macellus he's becoming a pretty good general military genius vanquisher bloody and a confident commander I'm gonna get my spy over here to check out the north they do have another army over here all right let's go and have Gaius over here attack uh, Blizora Get our reinforcements up. Yes, Let's keep an eye on Dacia. I know they've got these war bands over here. They should have another army around here somewhere. Here we go. Watching and waiting on my so they got a bunch of armies. Ooh, they've got chosen swordsmen. Uh, we got some rebels over here. Just one unit sitting on the bridge. And then we've got a couple of war bands over here. I'm going to split up my forces and hit this group of rebels on the bridge. Alright, they've got Warband. 241, let's go. Well, they put up a lot more resistance than I thought. I think I planned that attack pretty well, but they still managed to kill 66. Hey, another man of the hour. Pretty good. Been in the wars. I don't, oh no, Drillmaster. I hate Drillmaster uh, because of the uh, negative morale penalty. Oh, yuck. Yeah, I'm going to decline it. I, I can't stand Drillmaster. I don't want my troops to rout. Nope. All right, I'm going to move this army onto the bridge over here. So we got both sides protected. Let's get our reinforcements up here. Alright, I'm going to take some troops from Serta over here and move them out to Carthage. I'll leave a few guys here in case in case uh, Numidia tries something over here, but I think we're, we want to try and take out Carthage next. Hopefully our navy's big enough to fight off anything Carthage has. And I think I'm going to send Queso over here. We'll send some of these troops as well to meet up with him. Oh, we do have some rebels here. Sir, move out. Let's get a watchtower. Try to keep these guys together. 
think I'm going to send another Equites with him. We'll have to take care of these rebels next turn. They've got a round shield cavalry, some skirmishers, peasants, and town militia. I'm going to send some peasants out of Carthage and start populating uh, Lepsis Magna over here. Alright, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, I'm going to move my ship up, my fleet up into Carthage, into Palmyra. Let's see what they have. Not much. Let's go ahead and complete that mission from the Senate and uh, attack. Well, let's see what they have. Just slingers? Okay. And we'll just build some rams. Alright, let's get uh, Queso's army over here. Attack these rebels. Oh, it looks like we can't reach them this turn, unfortunately. I'm going to disband some of my peasants in Lepsis Magna because we were having unrest problems, but those have died down a little bit. So I'm going to... Well, we'll leave one peasant, and now we can retrain our Hestades. All right, I'm going to send Marcellius over here and attack this uh, Macedonian army that's sitting outside of Thessalonica. And hopefully we'll be able to take the city. It's going to be a tough battle. They've got a lot of units. Well, we got one-to-one -one ratio, so let's go ahead and fight this on the map. All right, let's get this battle started. We want to move out pretty quick and hit them before their reinforcements come. So let's go ahead and get moved out. Let's try to uh, flank them. They don't, this army doesn't have much cavalry at all, so we should be able to flank them pretty easily. Let's get our cavalry up. They do have a couple of uh, light lancers. Okay, we've already got one group of Peltist uh, routed. Let's go ahead and uh, move forward. Gotta watch out for my general. Make sure he doesn't run into any pikes. Let's go ahead and uh, take out these ballistas. And yeah, they're coming pretty quickly. So they're they're routing. Let's get our infantry turned around. To face the oncoming threats. The enemy general flees. Enemy okay, we got the their enemy general. We do want to try and kill as many as we can because uh, I want to uh, take the city. I want to make sure I get to 90%. All right, here comes some cavalry. I might need to back off and help out against this uh, cav. Alright, let's have this guy go. I want my general to head back. We gotta get these guys too. Alright, what are you doing? The studies don't run after them. Let's get our... Get these guys. Let's send our troops back. What is that guy doing? He's just running in place. Okay. Let's get our infantry moving up here. We don't have much uh, 
Well, we've used up a lot of our missiles, but not all of them. Alright, let's go ahead and take their Peltis. Get these guys back. Alright, what do we got here? No. Oh, yes, they are attacking. Did a little trick there. Let's go, attack. Nope, don't charge into those pikes, please. Alright, let's go ahead and fight these. Okay, we got the enemy general. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Oh, what did I do over here? I charged those guys. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. We got some uh, Hastati's routing stuff. Let's go. We got more. Okay, what do we got over here? Form up. Double time. Back up. Double time. Hit these guys. Go for it. All right, cool. We gotta watch out for our general. We don't want him to get hit. All right, this group's surrounded. Go get these uh, lancers. All right, I think they're just about routed. We gotta make sure we kill as many as possible. I want the city. Get these guys, come on, come on. Don't let them get away. Do not let them get away. Ah, there's they've got a lot of guys gonna get away the enemy continue the battle we're at uh, 80 percent don't think we're gonna get there well we got over 3,000 killed we almost we lost nearly 500 and I don't think yeah that reinforcement had too many guys left so they're gonna get back in the city at least it's gonna make the siege a little easier though and nice another command star for Marcellius all right, let's go ahead and assault Blazor over here. We've got uh, some ramps. They just got wooden walls. And, okay, a couple of uh, cavalry, including a uh, general's bodyguard with 86 guys. It's uh, going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I mean, we'll take some losses. All right, let's get this battle started. We're going to send up our rams. Let's work. Okay, we got the gates in. I'm actually thinking I'm going to send in my war dogs first. And then have the, the handlers retreat. We'll see if that works. Alright, as soon as they get close enough to send out the dogs, I'm going to have them retreat. Can you send out the dogs now? Okay, now get out. Run. See if the dogs can uh, do some damage. Killed one guy. Okay, these guys are routed. I don't think they're going to make it out. We'll see. They might not pursue us. I think it took a couple of the Light Lancers. Looks like, uh, three. This dog's still alive. But, they got into our missile range, I think. Yeah. It, uh, lured them out. So 
So, <laughs> oh, at the cost of an entire unit, yeah, maybe that's not the greatest. All right, we got our archers in the city, and their uh, general's bodyguards are right here, and I think they should be in range once we get in position. Just gonna have them hauled and see if we can start firing. Yep, we're in range, and they should charge us. If they charge us, I will send in my cavalry to attack their light lancers from the back. Yep, they did, okay. So we should be able to handle them. We've got Illyrian mercenaries, some Hastadis here, and they're in a very narrow corridor, so uh, get out of skirmish mode. Let's just charge. And I've got, yeah, all my cavalry's over here on this side. It's gonna take them a while to get in here, though. Yeah, they might route these guys. Although, our. Let's see. We're down to 57 General's bodyguards. That Hastati's almost completely wiped out. Oh, why are they going this way? I guess they weren't as close as... Uh, okay, we got their general's bodyguard to route. Okay, I messed this up big time. I thought... I thought my cavalry was over on this side. I told them to move out there, but I guess they were, weren't in position yet. So, this Equites was the only one that was over there. Let's just charge in. We're down to eight guys. Rome demands victory from her generals, and this day is clearly our victory. Okay, I made a big mistake moving in my archers before my uh, flanking unit was in position, so I lost 199 guys. Otherwise, I could have done a little bit better, uh, but it's not the end of the world. Could get 6,000 denarii for extermination, or let's do the enslavement option. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, demolish their uh, temple, and we'll get Saturn. I think I have Marcellus just uh, besiege Thessalonica, Sir. and we do have the stone walls. We'll just do ladders. Settlement they don't have too seen, much sir. in here. We did manage to wipe out most of their army. Yeah, and I just noticed this. Uh, looks like uh, Broody and I are about to take out Rhodes, which is really unfortunate. Uh, they're going to get 40% naval trade, and they are really expanding fast. They've got Athens. They're taking Rhodes. I need to make sure I take out Corinth so I can get the uh, Statue of Zeus as soon as possible. But with that, let's go ahead and end our turn. Uh, they want us to blockade Pergamum, which is uh, kind of far for, for us. It looks like uh, Carthage brought an army from a ship, and then it looks like it's a fairly sizable one. So, it might actually be a challenge. Let's go ahead and fight them. We'll lift the siege. The siege is broken. Yeah, it's an uh, even match here. Uh, he's got some Iberian infantry, skirmishers, Balearic slingers, and over here, the faction leader, and some more skirmishers. I think I should be able to do pretty good damage with my cavalry, so we'll have to make take advantage of that. They do have the two generals bodyguards, but other than that they don't have much cavalry. Alright, so their reinforcements are pretty far away, so we should be able to get them uh, first. And uh, I've got my cavalry over here on my right flank, including my general. So let's uh, try to take out their slingers first. Let's get my infantry to hurry up. Slingers are holding up pretty good. Let's back off. Here they come. Here comes their general. Let's get our cavalry charging. Good 
go take on their generals. And they're routed. This is no way for a leader to behave. We got him. General is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Get our infantry to attack over here. Cavalry over here. We want to make sure we uh, kill as many as possible too. Let's get one group of equites over here. The enemy army is in flight. They're routed. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. We should be able to kill them all this time. Let's get our infantry to form up. A cavalry can deal with them. And as well as our missiles. Alright, let's send our uh, slingers up and our archers to attack. Let's take out their uh, skirmishers. Alright, I think I want to advance. I don't want these guys to get away, so I'm going to start advancing my infantry up. We're... Only one guy is winded. Let's go ahead and charge. Let's go. Get everybody attacking their general right now. Oh, we lost the Principes. We got their general. Let's just go ahead and finish off their skirmishers. All right, not too bad. We lost over 200, killed 1,200. Oh, no! Because we killed their last general, their city turned into a rebel city, so we don't get to take it. <laughs> uh, we completely routed that entire army, and then these guys just spawned up because they they turned into a rebel force. Oh no! Engage the enemy. Besieging settlements. So now we have to build rams again. How big is this navy? Not big. I can take this navy out. Well, I'll get him next turn. I'm gonna get Queso some reinforcements. Not that we really needed to deal with this rebels, but I just want him to have it. And let's attack these rebels. Go ahead and fight them. I guess we can't bring those uh, reinforcements, but that's fine. Just, uh, yeah, it's not a really tough army. Let's go ahead and fight them. All right, they're up on this hill. I'm going to march, send my cavalry over here, hit their flank, and my infantry over to this side. Okay, looks like these uh, town militia might be charging. Let's take them out. Get our Nistadis. Up here, let's back up our cavalry. Let's go charge their general. This should be it for them. Alright, well, we only lost 17. We took out 669. Killed everyone. Good victory. Looks like Dacia's got another army. Looks like they even got some chosen swordsmen and onagers. Ooh. that That's going to hurt us trying to defend the bridge, you know? Because they'll be able to hit us from long range. So let's get our reinforcements up. All right, let's move this army down to help out. Let's go ahead and uh, take out Thessalonica. 
Well, we got some uh, pikemen, a couple peltists with the uh, upgraded um, weapons. Let's go ahead and fight them. We're going to take some heavy losses uh, taking these walls. Let's uh, get our archers in loose formation. Let's get them up first. And they're just going to... They're going to take some massive losses. Let's uh, angle them like this. Double time. I'm gonna have, uh, I was going to have just uh, my skirmishers take the walls, but I think I'm going to have some Hastadis do it instead. So we should be able to do a little bit of damage with our archers. They've got some protection from the walls, but we're managing to hit them. Yeah, when these guys pick up the ladders, we'll go ahead and have them march forward, take the gate. Well, let's let our archers uh, use up a little bit more of their arrows. Let's get these uh, velites from the other side moving up too. Down to 67 guys. Pretty good job, archers. We're gonna let them hold their fire. No, just a couple more volleys. Yeah, we're gonna hold their fire. I don't wanna waste our arrows. I wanna have arrows to help us take the square. Alright, we got them surrounded. Probably shouldn't have sent Velites from this side either. Seems like my Velites took a lot more damage from the towers. Well, this one had two towers attacking them, so... My Hasadis didn't take as much damage. Well, they took a few. They have a little bit better defense, though. Okay, we got one group of Peltis routed. We got these guys surrounded. Should be able to finish these guys pretty soon. And then start taking all the towers because like I said this city is such a maze we're gonna have to take like all these walls just to get to this town center alright we got those guys let's uh... Let's get our valetes moving forward and start taking the walls Alright, we're in position that took forever because this city is such a crazy maze, but I'm going to go ahead and order my archers to fire at will, and then they should uh, go ahead and uh, charge us as soon as we start firing. Let's get, um, let's get my equites charging in here. And my infantry as well. Let's go. Let's get on my missiles to take on their phalanxes. And we're charging at their cavalry. Get our infantry lined up. Let's not uh, engage their pikemen if we can. Let's go Illyrians. Don't uh, need no need to charge out just now. Let's get our cavalry to charge. Let's get them surrounded. So 
like we did a little bit of front assault, which I didn't want to do, but we got him surrounded now. might do the exterminate because we just don't have much money so yeah let's do it look at this large temple of Artemis I'm gonna keep this here because of the missile upgrade we already got an archery range so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and build the mines and get the plus 200 gold uh, per turn so I think I want to take as big of an army as I can down and besiege Corinth as quickly as I can. And I can reinforce from Blizora, so let's go ahead and do that. Just leave some basic units here, especially the weaker ones that can be retrained. And get them on the move. All right, let's get these guys out of Blizora. Let's see. And get them into Thessalonica. Let's go ahead and take these rebels out over here real quick. What do we got? Just peasants and skirmishers. All right, let's get them. All right, not a bad victory. We got 561 kills and only two losses. So we got another man of the hour, another queso. Oh, that's going to be confusing, but I'm going to take him because he's uh, a three-star general. He's only 20 years old, and I'm going to need help... Uh, I need to go in here into Spain and try to slow down the Julii, the Julii's expansion. All right, let's go in and end our turn. All right, looks like Dacia is attacking us. It's uh, over here on the bridge. I didn't think they could reach us this turn, but I guess I was wrong. I could withdraw, and but then I lose my bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and withdraw. I don't think I can win this. We've got quite a bit of reinforcements. All right, we've got a suitable husband for Tulia. He's only a one-star general. He's a good defender, though. And where where was that? Okay, that's in Lepsis Magna. It's not too far out from nowhere, so we should be able to get him into some pretty good action soon. So I'm going to try to see if I can set up an ambush. Dacia over here. Let's uh, go ahead and get my guys in the woods over here and see if they take the bait so yeah they probably won't move close enough to get ambushed but I'm just gonna try it and see and if they attack me here then I will um, counter attack I think I have a big enough army for that it's too bad I lost my bridge but I wasn't able to get over there in time 
I'm going to send my spy yes. down here into Corinth and we'll take a look at them. They're quite a large army here. This is going to be a really tough city with the stone walls. I think I'm just going to besiege it and maybe just uh, maintain a siege here for quite a while. Let's just do ladders. Oh, Cretan archers. Yes, thank you. Definitely getting those. Yeah, we're just going to maintain the siege. We'll see if I want to attack. This is going to... I mean, if I do, it's going to be very painful. With the stone walls and archers. Alright, let's let's go ahead and attack Palm, Palm over here. Unfortunately, we didn't <laughs> take that last turn, but we'll get them this turn. He's got some uh, pretty mediocre guys. Let's go ahead and fight. Alright, I'm just gonna attack this one gate right here. We're gonna get all our guys forward. Let's get our uh, archers forward. There's not too many towers to worry about here, so let's get our slingers and our archers up. Let's have them double time before they're able to retreat. Alright, looks like we are not able to fire over the gates. Let's uh, angle them a little bit further away, I think. Maybe that will help. Alright, we're finally firing our missiles. Doing some pretty good damage. We've got 5% killed already. And we're hitting the gates. They are ready for us though. Alright, I'm gonna get my... Slingers. Like this. And then archers like this. And we're gonna fire right through the uh, gates. And we're already throwing our p left through the gates and over them in some cases. Alright, looks like they're retreating back to the square. I'm going to send my guys out into the city. Let's start with our infantry. Let's have them double time. Get through the gates as fast as possible. And I'm going to get my cavalry to charge them as well. Looks like they're already uh, routed. That's good. Okay, I'm going to cancel their charge because I don't want them to go after just yet. We've got another group of uh, the Naked Fanatics are coming, so let's see if we can work on surrounding them. Here they come, let's charge. Okay, they're routed. That's good. Let's see if we can chase them down a little bit. Alright, we got them. Let's see if they'll send something else after us. I'm going to send my equites down around this way and we'll see if we can sandwich these uh, slingers if they come after us. Alright, I'm going to get my archers inside as well as my slingers. Come on equites, hurry up. Get these guys out of there. Here comes some reinforcements. Skirmishers. Alright, let's get our equites to charge these skirmishers in the back. Go charge, guys. Get them. Alright, they're uh, wavering. Okay, routed. We should be able to eliminate them and then. Just two units left. They're general and some infantry. Charge! 
Well, I just made a mistake. I was uh, trying to get these guys to surround him, and they just amp went the strangest route through this little corner here that I didn't even know they could travel through. And then we just totally got ambushed. And I was at fast speed because I was hurrying it up. So, they, yeah, they passed through this narrow path, which I didn't think they could go through. And then... <laughs> Just got hit by the general, so we're doing massive cav we're getting massive casualties because of a stupid mistake that I made. And now I have no choice but to charge everybody in there. We've got the enemy general. So let's just charge in here. Wow, and we lost all those archers too, which is ah, it's so frustrating. Well, we lost 204 guys. Not the worst in the world, but um, I would. I would have had a way less than that. I was really doing good up until that point, and then I just got caught by surprise. Uh, let's go ahead and enslave the population. We got another command star for Publius. And um, I'm going to tear down the uh, shrine. We're going to do Saturn. So if we look at the faction rankings here, we can look at the Broody Eye are just rocking it. They are actually higher faction overall ranking than us. Julia are slightly below. The Broody Eye, I am really worried about them. Look at their military, it's just crazy. But this is what I'm most worried about here is the uh, population. We're still ahead of them, but you know, all they need is one city over 24,000, then they can trigger the Marian reform. So, a little concerned about that. It's going to happen a lot sooner than I was hoping. Part of me's thinking is that I kind of made it easier for them by attacking Macedonia. Broody I had to have been fighting Macedonia by themselves. It would have slowed them, their expansion down a little bit. Let's take a look at, you know, population. Yeah, they're just slightly behind us. Even though we have way more territories than them. And then once they... Now that they have roads too and they're getting that bonus for the uh, trades. That's just... Uh, that's killer. You know, if they trigger the Marian reforms, I can't recruit any... I can't retrain any of my Roman units. I can hire mercenaries because of the challenge. Yeah, I was hoping to delay as much as possible. You can see their city of Croton here has 16,000 population. I don't know. Okay, so Tarentum has 17,000. So you have to get up to 24,000. Their population growth is only 1%, but they're going to be taking a lot of slaves like uh, when they capture a city like Rhodes and all these cities in Asia here. They'll be expanding pretty, pretty quickly. But we still have a lot of time. I'm hoping to just uh, continue to expand out east. The, the Julii have like some massive troops here and they're going up against Gaul but Gaul doesn't have the population that Greece does so if we take a look at Gaul and Greece so Gaul is yeah Gaul is way down Germany's way down so is Britain yeah Spain's the only one I'm worried about the Julia going after Spain so I need to go in here and take Spain first thankfully I do have a little bit of military over here I can start building up Numidia is something to be a little bit concerned about I've dealt Numidia quite a blow um, militarily, but they still have quite a bit of military. So I've got uh, this queso over here. We've got an army here that um, we can move out west, deal with Numidia, then move up into Spain and start taking on Spain. Or I might split my forces and uh, go after Spain directly, especially Oscar. If I hit Asuka, then that can kind of block the Julii a little bit. I don't know if the Julii want to move up into France or move around into Iberia. We'll see what they do. Um, but they do have a lot of troops out here in Gaul. Well, anyway, with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye!